who is best poised to challenge Man City this season? Now, again, we should start at the very top. Uh, yeah. Of course, last year it was Arsenal that challenged Man City right towards the end. They fell away, of course, um, to the back end of last season. Things have changed mm. this summer. I've got to say, Rob, yeah. you know, um, I, I like, I really like Arsenal's window. There's so much. And by the way, you know, every team we could get into so much detail about it or yeah. what happened. But <laughs> just, just quickly on, of course, their notable signings that we have here. Declan Rice, massive fee. Yeah, they got him, massive. which I think, by the way, which, well, let me just go through the, the uh, names first. So Kai yeah, Havertz is yeah. the interesting yeah. one from Chelsea. Mm -hmm. These are all big fees, by the way. Huge fee for yeah. Declan Rice. Um, where is his number? $135 million, I think, is up to for, for, for mm. Declan Rice, a Premier League record. Urien Timber, $49 million. Uh, and Kai Havertz, yeah. $83 million. Mm. They're the three new signings. And just quickly on those, Rob, before I let you jump in, yeah. I think that Declan Rice, $135 million, Rob, apart from being a brilliant sign in, in my mm. opinion, uh, in, in terms of what he can do, I think it is a statement signing. I think it is yeah. a wow, like the Cronkies and this football club are investing at the right time. They've gone for the player that, that many, many teams wanted and they outbid. They kind of, mm. they kind of, they got preferred to Man City wanted him as well, Rob. So that, yeah. with the money, with the timing, with the sort of player he is, and some might argue that that's a lot of money for a holding midfield player and, and maybe that guy should do a little bit more. But in terms of a signing and a kind of statement of intent from this football mm. club, we all know exactly what they want this season, which is a Premier League title. And this signing, I just think, is, is so powerful in regards to that. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, Declan Nice is, 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 a, is a diamond signing. I know it's a lot of money, Rob. He might be there at the football club eight to ten years. Well, there was a period last season when it just started to to go away from Arsenal. Remember the West Ham game? Thomas Partey trying to flick got a ball in the ball. field, got caught out. Declan, Declan Rice got him. Yeah. Declan, yeah. Declan Rice doesn't do that, Rob. Mm. Declan Rice um, addresses that issue. Declan Rice has a, has a maturity about him that's really impressive for somebody that young. I think Declan Rice, the footballer, there's more to come. I think he can get forward at times a bit mm. more as an eight. And make mm. things out. I think he can see mm. a, a last pass. I think he's got the ability. I think he can see a goal. I think he's good size. He can go and get you six or seven goals from midfield mm. If, mm. If, if the setup's right. Um, mm. When I look at Ch when I look at uh, Arsenal, Rob, I looked at start of last season, twenty twenty two. Arsenal had a team good enough to challenge to win the title at tw in twenty twenty two. In twenty twenty three, at the turn of the year. The, the depth of Arsenal squad showed up that they didn't have a squad to challenge because when they had to make some big changes, yeah. it was not like for like. No. What they do have now is more competition. When you see Chossard, you know, mm. Jesus is not involved in the moment. Habit, Habits mm. is playing. Martinez, Saka, midfield with Party, Odegaard, mm. Rice. It, it, mm. There's a Smith bit more about isn't there? There's quite a Smith few. Rowe, yeah. yeah. And then Katia, and then the back lads, you know, bringing in Saliba backs huge. Timber coming in gives them options. Ben White can play in different positions. All of a sudden, I'm kind of seeing the things that I just my big question in this one, Rob, with Arsenal is how much have they learned from last year? How much have they <clears throat> taken, matured? Mm. And it was into the game. We, we we had a production call at Lula and, and we're talking to some of the boys in England and all that. And, and there was a point that I'd made that, that Lee Dixon touched on. And I think it's a big season now for Mikel Arteta. He's been back, Rob. The, the Cronkies have, have given him mm. kind of mostly what he wants. It's a lot of money. You know, it, it, it's a lot of money. It's time mm. to maybe go closer. I'm not saying you have to win it. Yeah. But maybe yeah. now that, that slip that came and that little indecision, yeah. can you go closer? Yeah. Yeah. And the thing that, that I want to find from Mikel Arteta, Rob, and it's, it's kind of, I don't mean this in a critical way. I mean it in a way that he's got to mature and get over, you know, um, sort of grow from what happened last season is I want to see who Mikel Arteta is now this season. Who, How does he handle things, whether it's disappointments, whether it's winning, whether it's being topped by eight points or chasing by eight points? Who is he and how does he do it, Rob? Because I always get the sense, and maybe some of it's because of, of watching the, the documentary and we saw behind the scenes, but I always, 
there's a sense of there's a part of me that feels like Arteta is always thinking what he should be doing or what he should be saying to get the right result. Doesn't ever quite feel as natural as Pep, as Klopp, as Sir Alex, as Arsene Wenger. They it, they look like they were who they were, and that that's how they were. I always feel with Arteta, he's, he's, he's struggling to find... But does it, does it matter, Rob? Does it matter? By the way, and I agree with you, it's almost like he's a manufactured, like, what what do I what, what do I think is going to be a best for, for yeah, my behaviour on the sideline? And he's over yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, Whether that's normal or natural for him or not. But even so, is it that important, mm. Rob, when you talk about it, that, you know, he's got to um, find the real... Is it that important? Yeah, yeah, it is, I think, because I think he's got to lead him, he's got to take him to it. When you're asking Pep, is, is it important Pep is... How he drives that team. I think there's a time, there'll be a point in the season when Arteta will have to have grown from the Arteta we saw last year. Mm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. I, I just don't know in 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 the big picture of things and his yeah. behaviour. I don't. I, you know, he's jumping around. He got a yellow card again in the Community Shield this weekend again. I mean, it, it is whether that's normal the way he is. Always, he's kind of he's yeah. trying to provide that from the sideline somehow. I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what, Rob, let's, let's just go through a few. Uh, there's a few stories around Arsenal now and a few headlines um, that I just want to go through a little bit. And by the way, just before I do that, we did speak to Mikel Arteta, Rob, didn't we? And we should tell people that because we yeah. had a great oh, conversation. Okay, yeah. With, with Edu, with Edu um, and, and Vinay, the commercial manager. Yeah, who's in yeah the CEO. Commercial. We had a really good... Very just, together, weren't they? It was, it was very together. Very together... Yeah. Great understanding of each other's roles and you know the part that each other played. Yeah, I thought it was excellent. We had an excellent conversation. We had a great conversation, and and yeah. you know we don't want it. We, it, it was kind of more of a private kind of uh, fact mm. gathering and just information for us to get. But he, he did talk about the squad now with the signings. They were looking for yeah. quality, looking for depth. They were looking for leadership, and they were looking for desire. It's like that that mm. hunger, Rob. Arteta, you yeah. mentioned it a couple of times, as though maybe in, in some of the key moments, he maybe didn't have a couple of players out there that would just grab a few of them, the younger ones maybe, and mm. I mean, uh, to try and get them back on track. Um, but anyway, but just a few, a few, a few things I want to chat to you about. First one being Kai Havertz. Yeah. Kai Havertz from Chelsea. Yes. Going to Arsenal was yes. is the one of these three big signings where I'm like, mm. oh, um, is he? What can Mikel do differently? Obviously, Arteta feels that he can play him in a different yeah. spot or do so, get yeah. something that that takes the potential and the the, the raw mm. talent from that is yeah. obviously got a Kai Habits into production yeah. of assists and of, of of possession of goals and of creativity. I'm yeah. not. I'm like. You know what? I wouldn't have done it. I'll say that. You I wouldn't. would not no. have spent that amount of money. It was $83 million on a player yeah. that, that I know it's different and Arsenal's was different to Chelsea, but yeah. I would not have done that. I would, have, I would have found another avenue to go down to. So what do you feel about what he's done with, um, with his mind? And, and, I, and, I like it. I quite like it, yeah. I have to say. So I'll tell you why I quite explain. like it, because I think Havertz, let's say Jesus plays and he's playing as a more as a midfield and can play as a, as a, as a false nine coming back in, in, in B. He's an intelligent footballer, so he's got that. And if pace comes from the outside with Martinelli and, and, and Saka and he's coming deeper, I think that, that gives them good options. Maybe if Jesus isn't scoring or injured as he is now. But more than that, Rob, I think if you put... Kai Havertz in the spots where Granite Jacker was getting to with Arsenal's build-up and possession, I think Kai Havertz can take you to another level of creativity, of assists, of goal scoring. I think there's more goals in him, and, I, and I'm the most critical of him in terms of sometimes he doesn't have the killer about him, he doesn't mm. finish with any conviction. No. But I, but the player who was bought at Chelsea, the German international, who can get from box to box, who can finish, I think Mikel Arteta believes he can get that out of him. And I think he's thinking, I can have Granite Jacker plus with, with Kai Havertz, because I, I, Granite yeah, Jacker's you, you, not you, you, a natural, no, no, does great yeah. things, but he's not a natural, he's, he hasn't got that technical ability, he hasn't got that creative ability that Kai Havertz has. I right. think he's saying, Kai Havertz in that spot, can produce me so much more for my team and be almost another source of eight plus goals. Okay. 
Yeah, and 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 in in the ideal scenario, yeah, I don't yeah. disagree with that. That's potentially what he can do. I mm. think in Germany, it was that was a more that he rolled that he played in, and number mm. eight getting forward. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would throw back at you. The Granit Xhaka okay. was was very very useful in defensive side of things a little bit yeah, when the ball yeah, turned over yeah. when they were under pressure mm -hmm. and they had to come back into a different system where he'd play alongside Thomas Partey to make a 4-4-2 well I've now got not, Rice it, to do that a little bit more well now. yeah but but, what, but, but but if Partey's not playing if, if we're if, and yeah, by the way if and, and our understanding is from the conversation mm -hmm. with, with Mikel Arteta that the, the, the theory is Declan Rice holding Kai Havertz yeah. to the left and uh, Odegaard to the right hand side. Odegaard, so yeah. that that in terms of the old balance of artists and soldiers, mm. that that's you're getting more creativity, but you might yeah. lose out a little bit. Where uh, I'm just yeah. chucking it out there, and and they might be yeah. a, a defender into that spot, which has happened a lot, and that might happen. But it's just one thing to know. I just think it's interesting. And and if he yeah. if Havertz has a good season, if he get, gets over ten goals, twelve goals, and he, and he assists five or six plus, then like well done. That's a great yeah. that's a great pickup yeah. that nobody saw coming. Um, but I think it's interesting, and we'll see. I'll yeah, see it's develops. a good shout. Yeah, yeah. Good next one, I want to. Next one, I'll throw at you. Now, this isn't confirmed yet, so you know maybe we shouldn't spend too much time on it. But David Raya Robbie from Brentford, Ray, forty Ray. million yeah, pounds. Yeah. David Raya, the goalkeeper, yeah. is is strongly linked, and is I think it's getting quite close. I think that's done, isn't it? I think that's done. Is it done? That's done. I think that's done now, right? Well, if it's done or yeah. not done, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, interesting. So if it's yeah. done. Mm. What what's yeah. all that about? Like that forty million uh, for a goal? Is mm. he going to be number two? Is what does what does Ramsdale yeah. feel about this? He, he, what's the he, idea? He, they need to spend the idea is, the idea is yeah is competition the idea is that keeping ramsdale on on his toes the idea is ramsdale's one but we've got a very good two and if is he going to be happy to spend at, sit on the bench david Raya? are you are you if you're well, the owner to spend 40 um, million to sit on well, the bench I, I don't think he's guaranteed him the number one spot does it has he I, I, no. I could i couldn't cannot believe so he's got to say ramsdale's my number one and you know he's under, but if Ramdale's form dropped, and he, there was a little bit cutting, and we've all seen the, the Ramsdale um, interview that was you know brilliantly done and, and very open and, and very honest, um, and shows another side to footballers sometimes that, that we all we all um, should take note of. But you know if Ramsdale for, form drops a little bit, Mikel Arteta has given himself a safety net that that might not affect the team. And I, I just think it's an expensive, I don't mind it's it. expensive I don't mind safety. It. It's an expensive safety. I mean, Matt Turner was he that bad? Was he was he that was he that is he that much of a drop well, off? I mean, I don't know. Maybe is he playing out the back? Is it his handling? Is it his work work with the back four? I don't know. Mm. But I quite I quite like that because that's that's that puts the manager in a tougher position. You know, it's a tougher position now because you've got David Ryer, who's you know. Established Premier League goalkeeper has mm. been bought for 40 million. At some mm. point, he's not going to be happy or he's going to want to play, but he'll sit there for a while. But that also shows a confidence in Arteta that, yeah, I can handle that. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. I'll, I'll deal with him. Well, yeah, it's an interesting one to, to certainly watch yeah. and uh, we'll see whether that is confirmed or not. Um, and the final one, Rob, just um, I'm just thinking about like the Community Shield. Arsenal won the Community Shield, of course, at the weekend. They beat mm. Arsenal on penalties. Uh, so Kai Havertz brought into the club to play as number eight, and he plays up front. Yeah. Plays as a number yeah, nine. Yeah. I'm like, oh, well, uh, you know, but, this, but this Jay, didn't work. This is right. injured, isn't he? Well, so, Jay, what, Jay, so my question to you is, why doesn't he play Enketia, and why didn't he play mm. Trossard as a, as a nine or a false nine? Which I love the bits. I think I think Leandro Trossard. Yeah, Trossard. Yeah. Is, is is absolutely knocking on the door yeah, to be a starting been player. Banging and yet goals all, all pre-season, hasn't know. he? Yeah, he's gone. But again, Chelsea Community Shield. End up winning, getting him in the team, getting him minutes, getting him rhythm, maybe building his confidence a little bit. Robert, he, he, yeah. he's, a, he's a young man who came for a lot of money, came to London, was at Chelsea, mm. didn't quite work, had a load of managers. Maybe he needs a little bit of love. Maybe mm. Mikel thinks, you know, let's get him out there, let, let him be a big part of this. Again, I, I, I didn't mind that too much. I, I, mm. I still think there's... Um, Listen, at the end of the day, he'll be criticised or not on whether those work and whether those signings right and how the balance mm. is and is there enough legs in there when they need to win possession? Does he change things up? Maybe party mm. comes in, yeah. one of them plays. You know, I don't know. But mm. yeah, I, I, I'm kind of... You know what I'm really hopeful, Rob, is that they can sustain the challenge for longer. Yeah. And, 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 not, and not allow City to, to, to eventually 
forced their way past, and then it was never really in doubt. Mm. Can well, they, they put got... some doubt in this in this City group? Yeah, I think they can. I think they can. I mean, the, mm. the Champions League, of course, is a, is a different... They've got those games to contend with now, yeah. and you, yeah. then the, that's when the rotation starts to happen. But, you know, as, as we, we wrap up from Arsenal right now, I, I'm yeah. looking forward to... I, I think it's a great time to spend a load of money when the team are on the up surge they've had a brilliant yeah. season that's when you invest and they've really really invested well we haven't got to Yuri in timber rob who i think looks really really yeah, good football. Good yeah really good player good can bye. play anywhere across the back line you talk about mm. cover now arsenal got good defensive cover in, in all spots now with that signing so i think it's exciting times for arsenal fans i think they they they've improved the squad is better uh, and yeah. it's young. Remember, we said about we don't yeah. know what the ceiling is yet. We don't know what the ceiling is. They improve very or, young. They can they can get even better development. Let's move on right. to another team who would like, I think, or the manager would like to think at least they'll be challenging at some point. Manchester United, third last season, seventy five points under Ten Hag, got Champions League football, won a League Cup, so progression, um, improvement. What does what does this season hold, Rob? What can they get closer? Can they become Part of the top two, can they at some point have a little challenge somewhere? You know, <laughs> halfway through the season, could they be in and around it and maybe just fall off? D difficult, difficult to to give you a, a, a firm answer right now. Um, what I would say is, I kind of I like the window again. I like the window, mm. and maybe the theme of this when we go through some of these big clubs, Rob, is that. You know, it's difficult to see which one is going to be unexpectedly bad, right? Because it all, it, yeah, it all, yeah. I mean, we had we had Chelsea last year that was unexpectedly bad. Mm. Spurs again, unexpectedly ended up being bad. This year, with the managers, with the signings, I kind of like a lot of it. Mason Mount, big fan of his. Surprised yeah. he ended up leaving Chelsea, but Man United have benefited from that. He's going to, I think he's got the number seven shirt. He's going to play as an attacking midfield player. I took a look at their yeah. last game in preseason where he's lively, and you, and you got a midfield Rob. A midfield three of Casemiro, and Mason Mount, and, and Bruno Fernandez. I mean, Fernandez, yeah, that, yeah, that's that's that's, good. that's very. He's got good. to produce the numbers though for me, Mason. He's got to produce the numbers. I'm probably yeah. yeah I, I, I'm still a little. I mean, I, I love him as a player, and he's great for England. But got to be producing those numbers, Rob, to yep. to have that shirt, to have that position in for Manchester United. Yeah. yeah, but 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 if if he can, that's yeah. a. That's a fantastic, assuming mm, no drop yeah. off with Casemiro with his, of course, he's a, yeah. a, a little older and stuff, but that's a fantastic midfield. Mm. Andrea Nana was a big call. And another yeah, Eric, massive Eric, call. another Eric Ten Hag, big call. We've seen yeah. he knows he knows situation. people, though, doesn't he? Often goes with people he knows or has worked with. But 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 yeah, but my I guess he is not afraid of making big calls. Ronaldo was a big yeah. call. The yeah. whole uh, yeah. Harry Maguire. The, the taking him out the side, playing mm. Shaw in there in his place, taking the captaincy away now to, to Bruno Fernandes and changing the goalkeeper. Almost like a late decision to change David yeah. De Gea, maybe on the back of the FA Cup final. I don't know. Mm. But this is a big change, Rob. This is a big change. Yeah, this is and a this, huge one. This is this yeah, one. Well, this, this, this one. Do you like it? It's going to take time, Rob. I'll tell you what. It's going to take time. And it's slightly... It worries me a little bit at, at day one. I like it for the long term, but I think there could be a bit of teething problems for Why? it. Why? I mean, what? How? Because I think his personality, I think he is who he is. We've, you know, we've seen him get beat and he's talked about, you know, he's having to go at defenders. He's going to get on the ball. He's going to come out. He does his thing. Good, at, good in possession. But I think that relationship between him and these defenders might take a moment, might take yeah. half a season for mm. to get to know each other. Just wondering that time, you've just got to be careful that, you know, relationships stay strong and the yeah. bond stays good and things. Yeah. So I'm, the long term, I see it. I'm just a little concerned for the short term on it, Rob. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, I, I hadn't really... That's a good point. I mean, just to settling into the side because I, yeah. think, I think everybody agrees that, that Manchester United... Um, are going to be different based on the goalkeeper and based on what mm. he does and how good he is on the ball and pinging the ball with his actually with both feet. I've yeah. seen him in the yeah. past, but he's really yeah. good on the Lovely ball. Football. And he yeah, plays he plays super high. He plays mm. like another it takes defender. a bit of a risk as well, bud. He well, doesn't mind it, the risk. It's a, it's a it's a risk that I, I I'm loving it. I don't mind the risk. Now <laughs> they scored, didn't they? The goal he just got lobbed from yeah, that just got, inside got his own half line. So yeah, that, the that there there yeah. is yeah. the risk that you're talking mm. about. That in that yeah. high position, which is great for keeping the ball. I mean, if you're an mm. opponent, you want to press them 
And the goalkeeper yeah. is always going to be the spare man. He's comfortable mm -hmm. on it and he can make good passes. A little bit like Edison does. It's Edison yeah. even more so, even more so as almost like a sweeper keeper. Yeah. And that's a, a phrase that we, you know, we've thrown around for, for a while now. But I think with Anana, you're going to see, and maybe some other goalkeepers, James Trafford, mm. I think is another one at Burnley. Yeah, I think th Burnley, this yeah. is the next yeah. evolution of goalkeeping where these goalkeepers are not only good on the ball, they they are coming out. They're coming yeah. right they're, out. They're like defenders now, mate. They're, they're like defenders. Now. defenders. That's going to be a, defenders. a theme, I yeah, think, of the season. Absolutely. Robert. I think he changes the way that they play in terms of their build up yeah. play. Um, and the other one is Rasmus Hoyland. This, this Hoyland, is an exciting yeah, strike. Yeah, yeah, like striker. It. What do you think? Yeah. I like it. So, you know, as, as soon as he comes in, you start doing your research, go and have a good look at him, Rob. Mm. I think, again, like the goalkeeper, I think it might be. Two years before you see the best of him. I think he's yeah. 22 years of age. Nice left foot, rolls people, uses his body, got good pace. Um, you know, can can join in, play off the central position. Looks like he, he's, you know, he can smash a ball with that left foot. He's got like yeah. a hammer in that. Yeah. A bit Van Persie esque how he can, you yeah. know, he smashes yeah. it. Um, but he's going to, listen, he, he hasn't had a lot of football, Rob. I, look, I looked at his records. He hasn't been playing for, for that long, two or three years at any kind of level. Yeah. Um, but the goals look good. You know, he, he, he gives them options. When you think then you've got Rashford, Martial, who's still at the football club, Sancho, interesting yep. season, uh, Anthony. Yeah, Gonacho. And, and, and <clears throat> Gonacho, yeah, who, who, who looks, all of a sudden, it's an exciting front line mm. that is young, mm. that, isn't guaranteeing you the Ronaldo no. numbers, but mm. can grow together into a really, really good attack. Yeah, I, I'm with you, mate. I, I, I think, you know, you can look at this in two different ways. You can look at, like you just said it, of these young players that are growing, yeah. that are improving, that are getting minutes of this giant football club at Old Trafford to, to handle that mm. pressure. There's options in wide areas. Not only is he the striker they desperately needed anyway, because their goals, yeah. I think they're the lowest scores last year in the top six Manchester United, so they That's need right, the goals. Yeah. And it also throws... Uh, Marcus Rashford on the left-hand side. For me, that's mm. where I think he's absolutely yeah. at his best. Brilliant on the left-hand side. And this is, by the way, is if, if um, Hoyland kind of hits the ground running, Rob, and he, he ends up... Yeah. I don't know whether he's going to start, you know, in the first couple of two or three games, whether he's yeah. more of a... Yeah. Is it slower? Coming but off the it, bench. If he, and... if, he, if, he, if he gets that starting position and starts to look the part, then on mm. the right side, you've got... I mean, you've just got good options with those other wing yeah. players. Options, yeah. Options, And on the yeah. back of that midfield... And mm. and and the goalkeeper in the back four, it's 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 time to get start getting a little bit excited if you're Manchester United. Now on the other side yeah. of that coin, what might worry me if I'm a United fan would be, well, it's still a bit of inconsistency, Rob. Garnacho's mm. so young but looks great. Yeah. Jaden Sancho is inconsistent. You could yeah. argue that Anthony is looks brilliant yeah. sometimes. And he drifts out of games. Marcus Rashford, even though he had a great year last year, we haven't seen that every single season from him. And now you've got this 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 striker, Rasmus Hoyland. That that, um, wow. I mean, looking at again back to the videos and stuff. And of course, on 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 YouTube now, Rob, you can see yeah, a ton of see, stuff on yeah. this guy. And there's one yeah, really yeah. interesting video, Rob, that that actually my son picked out. And it was basically every shot that he he made last year. So not just the yeah. highlights of a player where you see the best yeah. bit, but every shot. Mm. So then you see the good, bad, and the ugly. And, mm. and and kind of like when people suggest that he's a little raw, you absolutely see it in the finishing. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. like that left foot, he scores some great goals, mm. smashed it into the off the crossbar and that yeah. and, and some lovely finishes. But other times he's one on one rub and he's just a little bit rushing with his finish he's not yeah, clinical yeah, he's not yeah. you know he's not like what harry kane goes through and you know he's going to score mm. so he's a little bit raw and that's only to be expected what is he 20 yeah. 20 years of age or something super super he's 20, 20 yeah. yeah 20 years of age and apparently i got i'm just looking at my notes here he, he can um he can do 100 meters in under 11 seconds rob so yeah he, he can he's, shift, he's yeah. very 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 quick great mm. left foot and what i also liked from sim c and some of the stuff the clips and, and watching a little bit of him is, is he's got a little bit about him rob with his with skill yeah He's got a little yeah. fake, got a little move. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I mean, we've been they've been looking for a striker for a long period of time. And maybe Rob and Man United in the past, they've kind of bought the finished article, haven't they? Well, it's yeah, they could afford to, couldn't they? Yeah. They, yeah. they, they could afford Van to Roy and all yeah. those kind of they, they, top end, top end. Yeah. yeah, Andy Cole, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. This is a little different, and I think mm. it's gonna be interesting. And exciting to see how he looks because I think I think and, Old Trafford the fans want to see him early, mate. Yeah, for sure. And if if, if the goals start going in, his confidence grows. Yeah, they're going to love him. Better place, mm -hmm. is it? There's no better place. And 
in some respects, Rob, there's no better manager as well. I like what Ten Hag's doing. Mm. He's, he's moulding this team to, to suit his style, his personality, what he wants. He wants young players who, you know, there's learning, there's still more growth, there's still more potential. He isn't, he isn't necessarily, you know, he's got his Casemiro's um, in the middle of, middle of the park who can dom- dominate the game and, and hold things together. But, you know, apart from that, ahead of there, he, he's got young talent who, who can go, go and make things happen. And I think with them, it's going to be, it's going to be the consistency of results. The, the thing that happened with United, and it's one of the things that I wrote down with, with my notes is, Rob, United didn't have, had, had, a, had a bad start last season and had to play catch-up. And there was just a few games where when something goes wrong, it, it, it went badly wrong. They, they couldn't have, it was like the handbrake couldn't go on. There was something about their setup that wasn't quite right. And, and that's something they've got to, they've got to have mm. to learn to address collectively. Mm. Mm, you know, when, mm. when things just start to go a little bit wrong, how yeah, do they, we they, they, they've, yeah. be yeah. solid and being hard to play against for a little while and then we'll get our yeah. football back, back going again? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting, Rob. Just again, to, to, to finalise on this for me, you know, I think it's over £400 million, pounds, Rob. Over yeah. four hundred million pounds mm. spent with Eric Ten Hag as a manager, and if you look at some of the signings, he's basically got a new spine now. There's a new spine yeah. from the goalkeeper yeah. they've just bought, of course, from from Lissandra Martinez, from Casemiro to Rasmus Hoyland. Yeah. You know that that's a brand new spine, and I think when you can add in some of the the ta- talent they've got in the wider areas, I still really like Luke Shaw, Dallo right back. You know. Yeah, it's okay, but it's okay. maybe it's not great to come. Um, yeah, maybe it's maybe it's not going to come. But it's starting the shape. The team is yeah. there's a lot of money now. A lot of money now. Yeah. And it's a little bit of time. I think I think we should expect uh, even better things this upcoming season for Manchester United. Okay, my friend, Liverpool, hmm. another team who I sort of say my my my, my phrase on, on Liverpool. Maybe Liverpool fans like they almost had a gap year last year. You know when you 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 get. <laughs> Caught up in your education, you, you go away for a year, you kind of let yourself. I kind of felt Liverpool had a gap year last year, you know, 567 points. You, you open league football, which is Thursday night football, which is never great if, if you know, when, you, when you're when you pushing for the Premier League, and they're gonna have to deal with that and the travel, and obviously, depending how seriously they take that. But are Liverpool ready for a return to a challenge, Rob, to, to Champions League finish and, and challenging again? It is. Have we seen enough that maybe with Trent going into midfield and working on a, a different system and a new mm. midfield that's really going to be interesting now with, yep. you know, they've lost uh, Bobby Firmino, they've lost Jordan Anderson and they've lost uh, Fabinho. Mm. Fabinho. Three mm. big players, experienced mm. players, a bit like City players who've known what big moments are. It's mm. a very different look in that midfield. You know, the front line, I think, speaks for itself and, and the, yep. the, the, what that can do. But that midfield and maybe the change with Trent, is that good enough to get Liverpool back in, in amongst it? Well, that, that's that's it. That's the question. That's the question. Front line, don't need to talk about it. Brilliant. Yeah, Brilliant yeah. options. Five mm. players that, that can play all across the front line. There's production, assists and goals and pace and everything there. Lo- yeah. Love the front line. Now, the midfield, as you said, is in almost at the end of a, of a total reconstruction. Total. Yeah. Fabinho's gone. Yeah. They're looking for, they're looking for yeah. the holding player now. Romeo Lavia, of course, from Southampton. They've had Lovely. yeah, uh, maybe two. Had another go, haven't they? I've heard, I've heard they, today. They've had I think another they've had go. One more go, aren't they? Forty so that's, odd million. That, that, that's yeah. desperation. Um, not desperation, mm. but that's a well. They need that. I mean, I think Curtis yeah. Jones played in preseason in that holding role. Mm. Um, but I absolutely love Alexis McAllister. That that's yeah. and Subasly. This the. the the others will play on the other side of that yeah, midfield for another yeah. big fee there. Uh, I think mm. it was seventy six million dollars from 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 Leipzig. So Leipzig, you yeah. know that that's that's a good looking midfield. The absolute key, and I, I watched a recent preseason game. They lost. Was it? Mm. It was Bayern, wasn't it? Four three. Yeah, I still yeah. worry about them defensively. Now, if mm. this and this this falls on the manager and the football club, Rob, because if if we still see this upcoming season a better midfield, and of course. Yeah. Plenty of goals, not worried about goals. Yeah. If they still mm. lose 4-3 and concede a lot of goals, that, that has to be addressed now. Now, if yeah. they are going to go with the Trent, from, which I like, from, from right back into midfield to play alongside mm. the holding player, pushes um, McAllister and Zobos Lyon. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. But John Matip doesn't look comfortable 
in if you say it's a three no, right side when, yeah on the right side mm. now yeah. Ibrahim Kanate I think can do that a lot better yeah you know he always seems to be a, a, a little injury or whatever he's not a consistent mm. blimmin player alongside new captain Virgil van Dijk and then uh Andy Robertson that's the key for me Rob that's the key I'm assuming they're going to yeah. buy a holding player so and I'm I'm kind of assuming that that midfield is gonna is gonna find its way pretty quickly because I I like those the two guys at the moment but I still worry I think they're going to be better than, than last season yeah but if they yeah. find a way if they buy a maybe you have to buy a new right back or maybe another mm. defender to um to give options to that right Deal side because I still yeah. see. Yeah goals going in against mm. Liverpool down that side of the field. And it's been going a long time now. So Jurgen Klopp yeah. for me, come on, let's let's find, because this is almost, apart from the holding, it's almost the final piece. Let's be stronger yeah, defensively because again. going forward, yeah. you know, we're looking mm. really, really These strong. So the... I think they can go a lot better this year, Robbie. I expect them to bounce back. Yeah. And um, I read some actually, which is Sort of surprised me, but then I didn't think about that much. That Jurgen Klopp's the longest-serving Premier League manager now. Is he Rob, in, in the league? Yeah, well, it's close serving. to Pep, isn't it? I mean, well, well, it's very close. Yeah, to but Pep. he came before. He came before just Pep, didn't before. he? he? Came just yeah. before Pep. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm sure they're going to want to bounce back. And as you say, they're going to have to deal with that right hand side. You know, Trent yeah. going in, I think, is a bonus, and he gives you so much going forward. But you've got to secure things uh, yeah. at the back. Virgil Van Dijk, new captain, Rob. That might have a bit of an effect, and you know. Boost him again. Obviously, we know he had yep. the, 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 the terrible injury and was not quite at his best last season. But um, yeah, big season for Liverpool, big season for Jurgen Klopp. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.